um. For everything else, you want to watch the live stream? Well, the, the video component yeah. to our show, you will find it there. You'll see Mary Santoro's live from San Diego today. And also, um, I assume purely coincidentally, thank you to Stan Diego, who's helping out in the video in the video department today. Such a coincidence. Thank you, Stanley. I Sometimes appreciate that. Sometimes things just happen like that. Sometimes they do. Is that, is that a thing? Why can't it be both? Yeah. That whole mysterious ways thing from Atch Tongue Baby. Uh, listen, Jeff in Hudson is asking what is easily the most um, important question of the hour, which is, is Mary going to go to Black's Beach in La Jolla, which is one of the largest nude beaches in the United States? You've never been to a nude beach when it's cold? Have you ever been to a nude beach? Yeah, I went twice. That was the only time I've ever, uh, well, one of the times I've done both. It was a nude beach with, like, a drum circle. All right, but listen, anybody's going to get naked if they're on shrooms in a drum circle. Have you ever stone-cold sober taken your clothes off and run around on a beach with some strangers? Huh. You tell me. I think you just did. I've been naked in a lot chillier weather than that. Yeah. They know how cold it is. What am I worried about? Who am I trying to impress? Why does everybody think they have to be impressive at a nude beach, by the way? Because why? You think other people are going to go, oh my God, look at what that guy's packing. It's amazing. No, they're walking around. They don't care. Yes. 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 Now you know. Now you know. Black's Beach in La Jolla was the first and only public nude beach in the country for several years in the mid-70s. And it is one of the largest in the United States. So what? You wouldn't know that they had seen you naked before or after the show. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. One's higher than the other one. <laughs> but would you care? Blush. Really? That a stranger had seen you naked. Well, they didn't have to. They wanted to because they saw you naked. Well, it's already sold out, so they already had the tickets. They, they, probably, <laughs> they were probably just hanging out at the nude beach hoping yeah. that the middle act at the show was going to be there. Yeah, but what do they always say, you know, for people, uh, public speaking 101, what do they always teach people uh, to get over your fear of public speaking if you have that? Pickle on stage is number one. Number two, <laughs> eat the pickle on stage. Number three... Be ready to yell at an old lady. Be really ready to yell at an old lady. And four, it's still top five. To assert dominance. Number four, uh, picture the audience naked. Or in their underwear. What if he came it's up to... It's the Me Too era. Don't be picturing <laughs> them in na completely naked. Uh, yes, yes. Get Make sure they know you're picturing them naked. What if the guy who tells you he saw you naked, what if you recognize him as a person you saw naked while you were there? Really? Because you're both clothed now. You saw each other naked before. Well, you would, but so, but you don't live in San Diego. You live here. So you're not going to see that guy again. That's why I went to Toronto to do it. I don't think Mary's coming through on the video stream right now. Okay. Like Audio-wise. Audio-wise? Yeah. Well, it's because I have to have her out of three, right? So has that been how the last few segments have been? Uh-oh. I guess so. I yeah. 
Um, well, listen, I think about the time that I got naked in front of all of my coworkers. I <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I was doing a broadcast at a nudist colony. That's different. And I was, but you're still naked in front of people you work with. But you're These aren't even people you work with. We're talking about. You're going into that knowing you're going to be naked in front of people you work with. It doesn't with. make this it any easier. I was, I was brand new in the market, needed to get some attention. That was the quickest way to do it. I, drew, I didn't even draw the short straw. Nobody else wanted to do it. I go, I'll do it. I was the new guy in town, new guy at the radio station. I'll do it. So I do an afternoon broadcast at Turtle Creek in Michigan, which is a huge... New, I told the story before. A huge nudist resort. And they do a thing called nude stock. This is 1995. Nude stock. And so they had Foreigner and Cheap Trick, like legit bands playing, you know, Journey and Ario Speedwagon. So weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, imagine being in the band. <laughs> and everyone, Were they naked? Every, no, I, don't, um, I, I seemed, I didn't stay. Once the show was over, I left. But um, I seem to remember one or afterwards hearing coverage of the show from people who stayed, that, like, you know, the guitar player from REO runs out naked or whatever. Not a big deal. They're rock stars. What do they care? But again, this is before social media. This would never happen now. I don't know what would or wouldn't happen now. They might still be doing it, for all I know. People people can't chill. People love to... Well, look, here's what I'm saying. Nudist colonies still exist in the social media era. They didn't just all go away. So, but I, but I stood there and did a four-hour broadcast... In a in a cabana, a broadcast, you know, the thing that radio stations set up, and there's a table there, and there's dudes wearing only, big fat dudes or nuts are riding shotgun, wearing nothing but a fanny pack, coming up like, what you got to give away? Like, they're, they're looking through my CDs, you know. I did a four-hour broadcast with co-workers standing around me. Okay, but my point is that... The woman that would become my wife was still an intern... So the first time my ex-wife ever saw me naked was at that broadcast. But you knew you were going into that. This would be right. Like but they I, didn't. But if I went into a, if I go to a nude beach and then someone comes to the show and sees me, I feel like that'd be like seeing a one night stand out in public. Like it, sure you can get over it, but it's still like awkward, and you wouldn't prefer it. So you're saying that you wouldn't do. If somebody came to us and said we'd like you guys. To do a broadcast at a nudist colony. I don't want you guys to see me naked. I don't want you guys to see me naked. No, I understand. I'm just saying, okay, so Mary's a no. So it's just going to be me and Pancake. Then. Listen, I would I've been it. a no. We, we've had the nudist conversation a bunch of times. You know I'm a no. I would do it, but can I get like pasties? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I want little flowers on my nipples. <laughs> And then I'll do it. 4.30. Um, <laughs> listen. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I mean, I was in front of people that I knew, co-workers I knew for maybe a couple of months. There's just something. And I'm standing there just full on swinging. It makes me. Never mind. Go ahead. They're trying to avert your, you know, they're trying to look at you right in the eyes and mm-hmm. the whole thing. And, you know. What, pound cake? No, no, no go ahead. Give, give away the money. I can wait. Yeah, let me give you a thousand bucks here. It's a chance for you to go fund yourself. So listen closely and good luck. The Buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score $1,000. Enter the nationwide keyword HAPPY at WMMS.com. That's HAPPY. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Yes? There's just something really exhilarating about being naked. And and then on top of that, it kind of makes me horny. (laughs) <laughs> like it's just the fact well that, that we don't want. Well, no, no, I'm just saying there's like no. You'll get your ass kicked out of a nude, a nude beach or a nudist colony if you're walking around with a rod. They expect you to be cool, bro. But no, I'm just. It's not even. I'm not even horny looking at other people. I'm horny because I'm like I can be. I feel naughty, but it's okay. So I'm just like I'm really excited about. Wow, like I this is like a taboo. I'm naked in public, and the fact that no one cares. It's. It's really like uh, it's an adren- adrenaline rush because I remember when I was on the nude beach in Toronto, I knew that if I was ever going to go nude, this is – I'm not saying it's once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm not saying that. But if there was ever a time to do it, it would be now. No one virtually knows me. I mean we have bureau chiefs in Toronto, but what are the chances of them being on the beach at the exact same time I am? Um, so I'm not necessarily – But even if a listener no camp- said, hey, I saw Pound Cake at the nude beach in Toronto – 
wouldn't change your life. And it, well, every time, whenever Gwen and I go to Austin, we always go to Hippie Hollow Park. It's right on Lake Travis. It's the only nude beach public park in the state of Texas. And it's all rocks. That stops a lot of people. It's not a beach. It's rocks. So you got to wear like aqua socks or whatever. Well, we always go down there. If I saw somebody I knew, I wouldn't care. Because you're seeing each other. <laughs> it, it would be strange, well, of course. I was it's not going to change your life. I was there with my friends, and we were all naked. And I've seen all of them naked, so it wasn't a big deal. I'm talking about fans. Like, that. it, 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 it brings a different dynamic. Because they're like, oh, I'm not supposed to see this person. Like, I haven't even met this person in person. And now, But is that only because you're worried they would criticize you? Nope. Not, it's not about the criticism. It's professionalism. But it's, nobody would care. But nobody would care if... You wouldn't care if a listener saw you and walked away going, oh, my God, Pound Cake is amazing. No, it's This not guy that. is got a knee shooter, and oh, my God. You wouldn't care about that. No, they can't. What I'm concerned with is that they can't chill. They might want to take a picture. They want. It, it's, <laughs> no, honestly, like, I don't Pound mind. Cake, do you have a tripod for my camera? I would totally hmm. be okay being naked if I can just be free and not have to worry about someone. No, I understand. You, I get that. That falling into the wrong hands. Like, you know. What, people no. sending it to my employers, people sing, sending it to my family. Well, what's that going to do? Even if they did take a picture of you naked and sent it to whoever, it's what just, is it? How is that? It's just a dick move. It it's is. just a dick move. Good pun. Um, <laughs> listen, it would be embarrassing, but again, if someone, what, somebody sends it to sends a picture of you to somebody to like... Keith Hotchkiss? Like, yeah, like, right. He, you'd be like, dude, I was on a public <laughs> beach. Like, He's like, yeah. you wouldn't believe the other thing I got. Somebody sent me a link to your podcast, <laughs> and that's way worse. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, oh. Alan, could you start posting naked pictures of Pound Cake instead of that podcast, please? You'll get more hits. <laughs> People are like, I recognize that body. That's Pound Cake. I work out. Girl, look at that body. No, All right. Yeah, just something just like curious. That, that falling into the wrong hands. Like, if everyone could be chill, if phones are put away, but you know. But honestly, that's the vibe on nude beaches, I feel like, is everybody's Some people. Chill. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can't be walking around looking Some people semi-chubbed. Go, some people go for the intention of, ooh, I want to spy on people. I want to, like, record people. I remember when we were in. Yeah, but they keep a real they keep a real close eye they on don't. that, too. Yes. They, Not, but you've been to one nude beach, and all but, of a sudden you're the expert well, on nude I'm, beaches. Okay, well, that was you were in Texas. I was in Toronto, and the police did not even go to that park. Like, there, I didn't see one officer. There was no security. That's because there they're hiding. And they're not going to be out there. They want to yeah, catch undercover. people. They're undercover. They're undercover. They're the only ones yeah. undercover. I got naked in the trunk of a car for this show. I remember. For the comedy tour. I got wallpaper. buck naked in front of everybody I work with. Salespeople. I saw your butt. Bill Squire. <laughs> it's a real nice butt. Not even one pimple or the whole, hair. The whole audience saw my ass. Yeah. Because I was naked. That wasn't CGI'd. We don't got CGI'd. that kind of budget. Yeah. <laughs> you can you really know? get the internet to work. You can get CGI'd your butt. <laughs> well, I take that massive Alan Cox Show comedy tour budget and I put it towards a... Yeah. <laughs> no, please. Pound cake. What are you talking about? I got a great ass. I mean, pimples and hair. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, you could have one pimple and still have a great ass. No, you can't. <laughs> great <laughs> ass! Downgrades it to good. Yeah. Yeah, no, usually people your age have a little saggy butt, but no, it's perky. It's that was also 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, it's probably sags now. Great uh, ass! Spoiler, doesn't. Al and I was invited to speak at an all-woman's college some years ago, and I was very nervous. Again, I don't know if this is a guy or a girl. So I tried that picture them all naked trick. Oh, and then I was worried about concealing my boner. I'm going to assume that's a guy. Probably. Yeah. Mm. I would feel very, more comfortable. Not very woke of you. I would feel more comfortable naked in a room of all women. I would. I would in a heartbeat do like an all female nudist colony. I would. I wouldn't even hesitate for that. It's the guys that that make me uncomfortable. And again, you know, we watched that brass against girl pee on some dude's head. So. Yeah, you know, fun. if they got, if they got a, <laughs> somebody got a naked picture of pound cake, it'd be the least your worries. It's just it, it, same reason why I don't send nudes. It's not that I'm ashamed of my body. It's I don't trust people. I don't trust people to be responsible with that. They like people immediately want to put stuff on Twitter or put stuff on Discord or whatever. I I'm a type of guy that wants to pull up. You want to see me? Pull up. Come see it in person. What negative effects would happen if a nude of you leaked? Do you think you're going to lose your job? 
No, it's not the point. It's it's my body to leak. I, if I wanted to, <laughs> if I want to post a naked body, picture of myself, if his body's leaking, yeah. that's his business. Yeah, if he wants that's to be true. leaking. It's got to yeah. be him making the leak. It's just my body, my choice. If I want a naked <laughs> picture, I'll post it. I don't need you. I'm not going to have that lingering over my head. Like somebody who's pissed off at me, and they're just like, "Oh well, I just happened to lose my phone, and there's naked pictures of Cody on it." Not that I'm that important. I'm just saying, if someone wanted to do harm, they could. Why just alleviate that? I don't need that. I'm maybe I'm paranoid. I don't know. Yeah, you're super paranoid, but I, who cares? But I don't like sending nudes. I just don't. That's fine. Then don't. Well, no one wants to touch my vagina. No one's asking you to send nudes or even go. Well, to then the stop p- asking me, Bill. Whoa. <laughs> I heard that in it's San Diego. Four, yeah. yeah. Why is he yelling? Yeah. Over the airways. <laughs> okay, why are you yelling? I'm trying to Seriously. insinuate that I'm asking him for nudes. And, uh, and O-O-D-S? Yes. Like ramen? Or yeah, I, was, I wanted him to finally start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, a lot of people are rightly pointing out that being buck naked with aqua socks on is a boner killer. Absolutely. But it's on a sandy on. beach. Maybe for you. Like what we wore in, in Jamaica climbing the waterfall. I don't know what they're called. They, they used to call them shoes. Yeah. Water shoes. They used to call them aqua socks. Oh, okay. but I mean, the yeah. water shoes. shoes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like um, Band-Aids uh, where it's uh, adhesive strips. The Band-Aids is a brand. Water socks is a brand, I believe. <laughs> oh, is it really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Alan, one of the best nights of my life was a naked sprinkler party in my front yard in Berea. Uh me and my buddy and a bunch of flight attendants we knew. My elderly neighbor still talks about it. That's the kind of thing that I would think would get you arrested, though. You're on your own property. Yeah, but you can't run We've around naked. we about in, this. You can't run around <laughs> naked in your front yard. I mean, there's other backyard people that can... Activities. Well, he said front yard. No, I'm saying, is it legally backyard activities? Pro- I mean, I think if anybody... If neighbors see you, they can call it in, and somebody's going to pull up and go, bro, you got to take this party inside. Can you be naked in your backyard? If it's like fenced in and nobody, if can nobody see you, can see you, need a pretty high fence. Whatever, dude. I own this property. I pay taxes. I'm be naked wherever I want. It's my private sidewalk. Answers the door naked. Alan, there are naked comedy shows out there. I think there. Of course not. If that's what you're I never insinuating, understand it either. Like, I don't, I don't either. It's it. like, like like they're gonna pay attention to your jokes when you're standing there with like, no clothes on. Like I don't, I don't get the point of it. You've missed a lot of other things if you've landed at naked comedy show. When I was at Skank Fest in New York in 2019, they do a naked roast battle. Which I feel like there is nothing more vulnerable than being on stage naked while another person just knocks you down. <laughs> well, and most roast battles suck anyway, so it's like, why would you, add, you know, if you're trying to get people to pay attention? It's just... I guess the naked thing would work. Sensationalizing things to get, like, oh, you gotta go to the naked roast. It's gonna be so crazy. <laughs> They're gonna make jokes painful. about how their body's not great. <laughs> Here's my thing, though. I think that if you go into the event knowing everyone's gonna be naked, that's different. So if I got hired for a naked comedy show, that's different than someone seeing me at a nude beach and then coming to a comedy show later. No, I understand. Alan, I'm a photographer who used to live in San Diego. Black's Beach has like five naked people, and they're all old dudes. Oh, well, there you go. Don't do it then. That's and it's cold. <laughs> Mary, I know we were changing your mind. Change it yeah, back. I was getting close. I was Change getting it close. back. Don't go. The nude beach in Hawaii, the one lady who was having, honestly, the best time of her life, she was a big old mima, and she had uh, an American flag draped around her neck like a cape. And that was the only thing she was wearing. And she was, like, frolicking and dancing. Yes, because you're never... If you're heavy, you're never more comfortable than when you're naked. That's not true at all. You have no... Really? I hate being naked. Well, that's because... That's because you just don't... But I'm saying, like, if you're really fat, the person she's describing, to be, like, locked into clothes, that's not... You're never comfortable. You'd be most comfortable... Huh? I don't like being naked. Not even by yourself? I am by myself. I don't, like, walk around my house naked. Boobs. Huh. I just assumed you meant, like, you're not super comfortable with somebody else seeing you naked. I I, I don't mind being naked with a woman, but, like, once once we're done having sex, like, I put clothes back on. I don't like to just sit there and be naked. You don't do it with your shirt on, do you? Like a water shirt or anything like that? Pool shirt? I've done it with my shirt on, but it's not, like, I always leave it on. Shirt and socks? You don't do the naked cuddle? (laughs) I mean, if if they feel like it, sometimes they gotta go. You can do that with a shirt on. (laughs) Boobs. No, naked when your skin's on there and your balls yeah! are yeah! like a little sticky when you're laying with them. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like you're like so close still. I don't know. 
We have sex for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Bill doesn't like the sticky part. I don't like he the sticky part. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't see. He didn't even need to see her face. <laughs> I'm back here doing my thing. You mm-hmm. take care up there. All right. I'm trying to watch the first 48. I got a break. You want to get me a- naked? I like her naked. I just, I, I'm not. I don't bring a lot to the table naked. Just not you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not like it's not a fun body to look at naked. Mm-hmm. It's one part. <laughs> one part for the nice. record. Yes. Uh, if you want to text for anything, 35192 to do that. And uh, you can listen wherever you are on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7. WMMS.